Hello everybody, this is Sirik1983 and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights. Alright, so we just picked up uh, one of our last uh, side quests for now uh, from Nurik last episode and that is because, well, there's a, a, apparently a trial going on here. Uh, and I will be doing the side quest. Um, you do not have to do it. Why am I saying that? Because, well, the uh, rewards do level with you, so obviously the higher level you are, the less uh, more reward you get. In my case, I want the as much experience as possible to get myself to level uh, 15 as quickly as possible, so that's why I'm doing it. There is one drawback that after this trial, uh, Nurik will move, and that just means every time you use the Stone of Recall, you'll have to do a little bit more traveling to be able to find him. But the extra experience, in my opinion, is worth it. So, all right, let's uh, find out what we got to do and then get started in this quest. Defense Council Journal. This notebook identifies the bearer as an official representative of Tears Justice in Rolgan's murder trial and explains rules of court, including the right for defense counsel to question any of the participants involved before the trial begins. To aid you in your task, Nurik has included notes on the witnesses and jurors and where you might be able to locate them for questioning. Witnesses. Rolgan, the accused, currently under my protection in the Temple of Tear. Zed, a Lord's Alliance soldier, recently has been spending most of his time in the soldier's barracks. Lodar, a Lord's Alliance soldier, usually found in the drinking house when not on duty. Vonda, wife of the accused, spends her time on the plateau by Baron as well. Jurors, the jurors have, have been selected to ensure a fair representation to all sides in the dispute. Edgar, my assistant, a good and honest man, he is usually to be found here helping out in the temple. Averic, a Lord's Alliance soldier, when not in the company of a female, he can be found in the drinking house. Jevin, a Lord's Alliance soldier. A reliable young man who spends most of his free time in the barracks. Delcia, a female ranger. She spends her time living with the Uthgurt on the plateau near Bear Run as well. Pala, a wise woman of the Uthgurt. She makes her home on the plateau near Bear Run as well. When you are ready to start the trial, go speak to Nurik at the Temple of Tyr. Alright. So, let's uh, start talking to some people. Let's talk to Edgar first. Well met. Uh, I'm here about Rolgan's trial. Of course, of course. Nurik has done me a great honor by selecting me for the jury in this case. I am looking forward to performing my duties in the, the administration of Tears Justice. How do you feel about this case? Even though I disapprove of the Yethgart's worship of a pagan god, I am not going to prejudge him. The real culprit in this crime is the demon alcohol. Of course, the alcohol does not excuse the Yethgart's behavior. Anyone who lets himself get drunk must bear the consequences of his actions. This is why I so strongly disapprove of consuming alcoholic beverages. I am keeping an open mind. I wish you well in this case, my lord. May the justice of Tyr be served. Alrighty. And obviously we do not need weapons, so let's... Sounds like a, a fair juror there, so let's talk to Rolgan himself. You are here because Neurek sent you? You are here because of the trial? Yes, I am to defend you. Tell me what happened. Griff invited me to play a game of chance. Not wanting to spurn this gesture of friendship, I accepted his invitation and the drinks he readily offered me. Eh, sounds innocent enough. I began to feel strange. My mind was clouded by more than just ale. I gambled foolishly and lost several personal heirlooms of great religious significance to my tribe. Go on. I returned to my tribe in shame. Nivanda, my wife, told me to go back and speak to Griff, to humble myself and beg him to return our religious heirlooms in exchange for the promise of much gold later on. But Griff attacked me before I could speak my offer. I killed him to save my own life. There was no other choice. I fled to this temple, barely escaping a mob of soldiers seeking my blood to avenge Griff. Nurik gave me sanctuary, but only if I vowed to submit to a trial to determine my fate. Can you tell me anything else? We Uthgard are different than you. Their ways and customs may seem strange. They call us savages and pagans and drunks and thieves. This is how the Lord's Alliance sees us, and that is why I am called a murderer for defending myself. We of the Black Lion tribe are a noble people. I am no heathen savage, no vile killer. I pray to Uthgard that you can see this and help me. I will do my best. Go if you wish. I must stay here though my heart aches to return to my tribe. When the trial is over, Uthgar willing, I will be allowed to return to my home. Indeed. All right, let's, what's in the barrel? Cat's grace. All right. Now let's head over to... First, get out of the room, Kel. Thank you. Uh, who do I want to speak to first? Let's go to... Yeah, let's go to the mercenary enclave next door and speak to uh, Zed and Jevin. Alright, where are they? There's Zed. Let's speak to him first. Actually, first, let's get something else equipped. Get Sherwin's belt, because we will need this for one of them. Alright, Zed. I greet you. This better be important, as I don't feel like chatting. It's bad enough my leg is killing me, but now I gotta be a witness at this murder trial, too. 
I am the defense counsel for Rogan. Huh, so you're the sucker Nurek roped into defending that savage. Tough break, I hear the case is open and shut. I saw that Earthgrid stab Griff with my own two eyes. Ran him, th ran him right through. Griff was dead before he even hit the ground. Do you know why they were fighting? Gambling debt. Griff had won a bunch of money off that oath card, and I guess the savage didn't like it. He'd been drinking so mu drinking, so I guess it's no surprise he lost his temper. Anything else you could tell me? Hey, all I know is what I saw. Griff is dead, and that oath card killed him. I'm as sure of that as I am of this pain eating away at my leg. What's wrong with your leg? My leg is none of your business. Go find me. Find someone else to bother. Leave me alone. Now well, we could do that, or we could heal him. And then talk to him again. I greet you. Hey, thanks for curing that wound in my leg. I still got the occasional ache from my arthritis, but I can handle that. What did happen that night with Griff? First, Griff spiked that Uthgard's drink. Griff was always doing stuff like that to try and get an edge at cards. Could be the stuff in the drink made that Uthgard act like he did. I also happen to know for a fact that Griff was cheating that night. He wanted to take everything that Uthgard wanted, that, er, that Uthgard owned. He told me he wanted to rob that savage blind. That's all I know. It's, if it's enough to get your client off, so be it. At least now I can walk without clenching my teeth in agony. Seems like a fair trade to me. Ah, cool. Alright, let's talk to Jevin. Well met. Uh, Norik sent me. I'm representing Rolgan. I figured as much. I ain't never been on a jury before. I see my share of trials, but usually from the prisoner's box. What do you want to know? I'm preparing my case. What do you think about this trial? Looks to me like a bar fight gone out, of, gone out of hand. A few too many drinks in you, and you act stupid. I've been there myself, though I ain't never killed no one. But you know what makes me mad about this case? Them people who run around saying the only reason this guy is on trial is because is cause he's an Uthgart. I ain't no Uthgart, and I've been on trial but a bunch of times. Uh, sounds like you're trying to keep an open mind. I know what it's like. Sometimes you're just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Could be that's what happened to this Uthgart. I kind of hope you get him off. I'd hate to have to sentence the poor guy to execution, but I've got to give an honest word to Nurik says it's my duty. Not much more I can tell you. Hope you got what you were looking for. Good luck in the trial. Hey, cool. So there is some uh, nice people around here. <laughs> All right, next. Uh, who else do we want? Who's the next one we want to talk to? Yeah, let's go talk to uh, the Uthgarts. these boots of speed. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's talk to Dalcia first. Greetings, On behalf of the Black Lion Uthgart tribe, I welcome you to this camp. I'm representing Rolgan at his murder trial. Ah, yes, Nurek mentioned he was seeking someone to defend Rolgan in this trial. I hope you truly appreciate the situation you've gotten yourself into. <laughs> I like that wording. The Uthgard are a noble people, but their culture and beliefs seem strange to the Lord's Alliance. Often the Uthgard are victims of prejudice and hatred simply because of who they are. Sounds like you think Rolgan is innocent. I will wait until the trial before I make that decision, of course. I only wanted you to be aware that the fact that the fact Rolgan is an Uthgard might have something to do with him being on trial. Uh, I'll be going now. You are welcome to explore the tribal camp. I only ask that you respect the ways of the Black Lion tribe and keep, treat the Uthgard with the honor they deserve. And no, I'm not going to bribe or do anything shady. Come on. Alright. Let's go talk to Pala first. Greetings! Why have you come to seek the counsel of this old woman? Uh, Merrick sent me. I'm representing Rolgan in the upcoming trial. The life of one of my people is in your hands. I will aid you as best I can, though there is little I can do. The ways of justice among the Lord's Alliance are unknown to me. What do you think of the case? I am very disappointed in Rolgan. Our tribe constantly struggles against the stereotype of the drunken savage, yet Rolgan allowed himself to fall under the influence of alcohol. This is the result. Sounds like you, are, you already think he's guilty. That remains to be seen. Rolgan is a symbol of our people. I pray he is not he is not guilty of what they claim, but my duty in this trial is clear. Nurik has explained the vow I have taken as a juror. If the evidence shows Rolgan let alcohol cloud his mind so that he killed that man without reason, I must return a verdict of guilty. This trial is not the way of our tribe, but I must follow Nurik's rules in this matter. We Uthgard cannot risk the, rest, the wrath of the Lord's lines by defying the High Priest of Tyr. I pray Rolgan is not a sacrifice for the good of the entire tribe, but if it must be, it must be. Eh, I'll be going now. I'll go with the blessing of the Black Lion tribe, alright? Alright, let's talk to his wife. Yes, what? Oh, Butch. 
I am sorry, were you just speaking to me? Forgive my distraction, I am worried about my husband's upcoming trial. I am representing your husband in his trial. Representing my husband? I am sorry, but the ways of your justice system are unfamiliar to we people of the Black Lion tribe. Are you a friend or foe? A friend. I must ask you some questions. The priest Nurk said I would have to answer the questions put to me with complete honesty. It was as if he expected me to lie. He knows nothing about the honor of our tribe. Ask away, I have nothing to hide. Tell me what happened the night Griff was killed. My husband returned home late. He had been drinking, but there was something else. He seemed different, as if more than alcohol were at work in his mind. When he told me he had gambled away the heirlooms of our family, precious stones sanctified by the priests of Uthgar, I knew something was very wrong. He was not in his right mind, or he would never have wagered, the, wagered these sacred stones on a game of chance. Please go on. I sent him to ask this man Griff to return the heirlooms. We offered to pay him gold in exchange. It would have been far more than he could ever sell the heirlooms for. Their religious significance to the Black Lion tribe far exceeds their material worth. But the soldier attacked my husband, and Rolgan was forced to kill Griff to preserve his own life. He fled to the temple-seeking sanctuary, a mob of Griff's enraged friends close on his heels. Anything else? Please help my husband. They are portraying him as a drunken pagan savage. This is how they view all the Uthgurt. We are a noble people, but if Rolgan is convicted, the hurtful stereotype will only get stronger. I wish it could be of more help, but all I can do is pray Uthgar grants you wisdom in this matter. Well, thank you for that. But it's sounding like this mission, this uh, case really is all about self-defense, so I don't know. I wonder how we're going to convince them, convince the jury. But let's head to the uh, drinking house first and talk to the last two people. Hang on, I'll let it, yeah, I've got it equipped. Alright, let's go. Alright, first, let's, there's Averick, there's Lodar, let's talk to Averick first. I greet you. Uh, shove off, buddy, these open sores in my face make it tough enough to attract the ladies without your ugly mug hanging around and cramping my style. <laughs> I'm here to talk about Rolgan's trial. Hey, that rhymed. Oh, that prissy priest Nurik must have sent you. Can't figure out why that sawed-off runt wanted me on the jury. Guess he figured I'd be impartial since I hate all races, colors, and creeds equally. <laughs> what are your feelings about this case? Griff was a rotten bastard, and the Uthgard did us all a favor by offing him. But if we let him go, we might have drunken savages running through the streets sacrificing us to their goat gods, you know? Sounds like you're, you figure he's already guilty. The only good thing about that Oathguard is his wife. I can't wait to see her up testifying at the trial. She's one fine piece of meat. Hooey! I wouldn't mind having her pork chops on my plate at dinner tonight. You're a disgusting, vile man. So what are you going to do about it? You try anything and Lord, every Lord's Alliance soldier in this camp will be all over you. So take your prissy complaints about my attitude, stick them where the sun don't shine, and leave me alone. Fine, then. <laughs> see you at the trial. Alright, let's talk to Lodar. This one might take a few tries. Well met. Look, don't bother me right now. I got a lot on my mind and, well, with this trial and all. I know about the trial. I'm defending Rolgan. Funny, you don't look like a lawyer. But that ain't my business, I guess. You want to ask me some questions? Go ahead. Tell me what happened. Griff and that Uthgart were playing cards. Gambling. Griff won a lot of money. So much that the Uthgart had to give him some of his jewelry to cover the debt. Really fancy-looking stuff. Later that night, Griff went outside. I heard him shout, and I rushed out to see him and that Uthgard smashing swords. Guess the Uthgard was better at it than Griff. I can't believe I have to testify about this. I've never been to a trial before. Anything else? That's all I know. I don't even understand why they need me at the trial. I wish I didn't have to go. Eh, don't get so worked up about this trial. Barkeep, a drink for my friend Lodar, please. I'm buying. Hey, you're all right, brother. Good luck in that trial, and thanks for the drink. If you need anything else, I'll be right here. Until the trial is over, they've got me off active duty, so I plan on spending my time here in the drinking house. Alrighty, so, now you can either do that, or you can talk to him again. Well met. And for one gold piece each time, you can buy him a refill. Uh, hey, I remember you. You're that lawyer. Mighty kind of you to buy me that drink. How about a refill? Bartender, bring me another drink for Lodar. Thanks, I needed that. Too bad you're trying to get Gr Griff's killer off. I kind of like you. You're a nice man, not like Griff. He's always getting into trouble, picking fights, that kind of thing. Kind of a racist, too. Always going on about the Uthgard being drunks and thieves and such. Maybe Griff's to blame for the fight with that Uthgard. Maybe, but I shouldn't be speaking ill of the dead. Griff had some ugly secrets, but now that, now's not the time to drag it all out. Secrets? What kind of secrets? I really shouldn't tell you. Griff was a friend, after all. And if there's something I should know for the trial, you should tell me. 
I think I've had too much to drink and I don't want to say anything stupid. Forget what I said about Griff's secrets. It was nothing. Good luck with the trial. Alright, I'll keep trying, keep going through that and trying until I get a success. Alright, that was quick enough. If I don't tell you, someone else probably will. And I don't want to get in no trouble. Griff's gone now anyway, so who cares if anyone finds out, right? Griff had a nasty habit of spiking the drinks of people he was gambling against. He figured it would give him an edge over them, make their mind all hazy. Not really sporting, but that's the kind of guy Griff was. Anything else you could tell me about the trial? Nah, I told you pretty much everything I know already. If you need anything else, I'll be right here. Until the trial is over, they've got me off to active duty, yada yada yada, and there we go. Alright, so we've officially talked to everybody, and that means we got to go back to the Temple of Tear. Alright, so here's Nerik. We've spoken to everybody that we can, and I guess next up is just to go through the trial and find out whether we can convince the jury that Rolgan is guilty or not guilty. Which is it? Well, so to me, it sounds like he's not guilty, but I guess the jury will have to decide. This is Sirik 1983 signing off. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.